Hey everybody, it's Dr. Daniel Choi here from North Texas Dental Surgery, Wisdom Teeth, and Denture Implant Center. And today I have my lovely assistant, Kaylin. Um, so we wanted to discuss a topic about All On 4 that we think is a very, very, very huge topic, right? Yes. And I'd say 99% of the public doesn't know about it, even though they've been doing their research for All On 4. Um, so it's a process that we've been using for over six months now. It's the, the latest advancement in technology. And it is honestly the cure to one of the biggest frustrations that you would have for all on four, right? 100%. Okay, cool. So basically what we're gonna talk about is the latest advancement for all on four technology is basically using what we call a digital conversion process versus the traditional analog process, right? Mm -hmm. So Caitlin, you've been working with me for almost like three years now. So yep. you've seen kind of like how all on four was done before how we're doing it now. Mm -hmm. And could you tell patients, I mean, I tell the, you know, the public basically what the experience has been for patients yeah. with, the, with the new process? With the new process, I mean, it's just been so much more seamless, so much easier, um, less pain, less time, less frustration. And we haven't seen a single temporary break. Nope, not a right. single one, which is crazy. Yeah, so just to kind of, and we're actually gonna show you like a quick little video to see like, you know, people like a, a large, you know, percentage of the population, they look at all on four, they get enamored by the holy crap, like we can change your smile, we can, you know, get your ability to chew again, make it look beautiful and at a fraction of the cost, right? All on four is awesome in that sense, but there are some disadvantages to all on four mm -hmm. that the public, again, they, they don't see that aspect of it. Like, I don't think most dentists would <laughs> like try to tell them about it, but so basically, you know, just to kind of let you know what happens for an all on four, when the day of the surgery, whether you have teeth or not, you know, let's say you have teeth, we take your teeth out, we place the implants, we smooth out your bone, and then um, we basically then begin the whole process of doing the, the conversion process, right? So what is the conversion process? The traditional way? Right, so we take a, a denture that we made for the patient. Right. But it's a denture. It's a and regular old denture like grandpa used to put in his water. <laughs> yeah, and so like, let's actually show you this video here real quick. So what we basically did is, um, you know, you were talking about grandpa's denture, right? That, that, that's a denture, right? And so what I did was I quickly, you know, pulled this video from YouTube where um, this company, Nobel, that helped standardize all on four in America. But this is really what an all on four conversion process would look like where we're retrofitting a denture to fit within your mouth. Right. Yep. In and out of the mouth constantly. Yep. I tell patients it's like, uh, you know, um, taking an oversized boot. And then, you know, spray foaming it and like putting like, you know, cutting out some excess material, adding some material here and there. And we're basically trying to get that to fit within your mouth. And so that's exactly what this is. Granted, this is like during the temporary part, right? Mm -hmm. So you would wear this for like the first like five, six months of the process. But, you know, we pulled this video real quick to kind of show you what the conversion process is like. There you go. And you can see I'm checking it. Then he's going to adjust the bite here at the end. All right, so, so Kaylin, tell me, like, what would be, like, the, the number one issue with that? Tell, tell them about the day of. Yeah, day of, um, it gets pretty frustrating for patients. Um, during this process, you can't be asleep. So during the surgery, you can be asleep, you know, right. knocked out. During this process, you do have to be somewhat awake so you can open and close so we can yeah. get your bite um, You, you just saw in that video, like, a lot of manipulation of their mouth, having right. a bite, you know, all that stuff. Right. So it gets a little frustrating having to be awake. It can be a little bit more painful because you are awake because you're having to open and close. Um, and they'll be here for, like, realistically, you know, we might tell you that you might be here for a few hours, but you You'll probably be there for another three, four hours after the Most surgery. Most likely four. <laughs> <laughs> Getting that done, right? Especially yeah. if it's both arches, like upper so, and lower. But yeah, it tends to be like that. Tends to be the most frustrating thing for patients versus now, you don't have that right extra with the digital time. conversion process, and we'll show you that. But um, but let's talk about afterwards for the traditional denture, right? It, it breaks. So, yeah. I mean, that's one of the biggest things. Uh, we have a patient that was here recently that had it done the traditional way versus the digital way, and he was like. Oh my gosh, he even paid extra for a backup because he was like, I'm right. going to break it. I always broke my other one and he didn't break it once. Right, right. So um, it was interesting. Yeah, we we have a, a testimonial from a patient. He had all on four zirconia done upper a few years ago at a different practice. He came and decided to do his lower with us and he recently, he did the procedure. We mm -hmm. did the digital conversion process with him. Um, he was 
like I think he said that, like it broke like five times. Yeah, and he doesn't even live months. here, so that was a big concern for him. Yeah, well, well, actually, he does live here, but he was going. His wife is Colombian, so he was going to Colombia for like a month and a half. And he's like, man, if this is like anything like my last experience with a all on four conversion, this thing's gonna break like crazy. So like, I want another one. So you know, our prosthodontist, Dr. Ross, that we work with that he you know actually paid him more money to get another one made got another screwdriver um and long story short he goes to columbia comes back six weeks later and he was shocked that he never broke it right so yeah the digital conversion process is way better and because like that prosthesis the number one issue that's gonna happen that nobody's gonna tell you about is your prosthesis your 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 prosthesis is your your gums and your teeth right the teeth that we place that's gonna break now why does it break so when we just showed you that quick little video of when we're taking a denture that we made for your mouth and we're cutting a large part away and then we're adding extra acrylic and taking away adding taking away adding what ends up happening is that that denture is not exactly it's it just goes through this process of weakening strengthening weakening strengthening and then over six months when you're supposed to wear that temporary you know like it just it, it can't withstand the forces of your your jaw muscles over that period of time so what you're gonna have is, is patients that come in over and over and over again. Hey, I need to come in, my denture broke, my tooth popped off, my denture split down the middle. No matter like how many times that we think we just did an excellent job of making that temporary for you, it's gonna break sometimes, especially with, you know, it doesn't even matter. Like we've had some elderly females who, you would assume that they don't even bite that hard and they mm -hmm. even break, yeah. break, you know, break their prosthesis. You just hinder the integrity of it when you're going in and out, constantly making adjustments right. to it. So like, let's, you know, we, we, we're like speaking so much of this, you know, digital conversion process. Let's show them what that's about. So basically I wanted to show this real quick to you, but after we place your implants, instead of going through all the manual impressions and working within your mouth, what we literally do is we just, after the, I place the implants, we'll scan your mouth. And then Dr. Ross takes over where they basically do this whole digital conversion process where everything is done with software that you can see where they're, you know, making your gums, your teeth, the shape, um, adding, subtracting, it's all done digitally. Um, after that process is done in the software, here you could see the machine is actually milling your prosthesis, right? So it has like what they call a puck of compressed PMMA, poly, um, yeah, acrylic essentially. And after they cut away, it's literally, you know, shaped like this. And then here the lab tech is adding material on to make it look more lifelike. But this whole process of like, you know, just milling from one compressed unit, um, the shape of the teeth and the gums and having this prosthesis versus adding, subtracting, adding, subtracting, um, just allows the prosthesis to be so much stronger. And we haven't seen a single one break. No it one. is like, even like big dudes, like big dudes who are like, I grind really heavily. Oh God. Like yeah, you're yeah. like, oh my gosh, you're going to break this. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> yep. We've had, we've had guys that are like six foot five, you know, I think of one in particular yeah. former cop ground his teeth down to nothing. And you're like, you know, we'll see. Uh, we have a, another patient too, who we actually had him in a converted, uh, a chair side conversion the the traditional way. Oh, yeah. You know, and then now through the, the digital process, I felt so bad for him because he was getting emotional. He's like, am I doing something wrong? Why is this prosthesis breaking? And it's not that you were doing anything wrong. It's just the unfortunate, it's a limitation of the, the old process. You know, All On 4 was invented in 98, but the old conversion process was the only option the way that we had, you know, to do it. And then, you know, recently there was a, the, this foray into like this, the digital conversion process that there were always different limitations. I'm not gonna go through all those, but you know, technologically speaking, like there were different limitations, um, different steps, but now the technology has really allowed us to uh, predictably be able to give patients a digital conversion, which again, the biggest like, you know, benefit to you is it's not gonna break, yeah. right? So what happens now? Well, what, that little process, that video that I showed you, the digital conversion process, that takes um, like quite some time, right? Mm -hmm. So once, you know, the lab techs get that scans. They have to design your smile, your bite. Um, the machine then mills it out. That's gonna take a few hours. And then there's a staining process involved. So because of that, we actually can't deliver the prosthesis the same day. We actually deliver it the next day. So I remember when we first started working with Dr. Ross and he was talking about that, I was like, well, wait a second. We, you know, we're so used to delivering the same day. Mm -hmm. We call it teeth in a day or all on four. I don't know if patients are gonna be happy about that, but 
I mean, what, I was skeptical about it at first, but tell like tell them what the patients have been saying. I mean, most of the patients are okay with it. They go home, they sleep anyways, they're fine with it. Most they're, patients aren't doing anything that day or the next day anyways. Right. So the beautiful thing about a starter, and we're, but like we do the surgery, mm-hmm. scan their mouth real quick, and they go home. Mm-hmm. They're still numb. They don't feel anything. No discomfort. They're still kind of. And they don't even remember bit, much, yeah. <laughs> right? Because like they're sedated, and it takes a little while for the station come back, come out, um, come off. But then they come back the next day, and we mm-hmm. deliver the prosthesis. It's not something where they're in pain when we're mm-hmm. screwing in the prosthesis, or anything like that, right? Mm-hmm. No. So it's it's like you know I was honestly skeptical at first, but I I can say, like the digital conversion process to me is the biggest advancement in all on four. Hundred percent. And you know the thing is, I just want to get this video out there because most people don't know about it. A lot of doctors don't even know about it. Um, I you know did some research into who's really offering this out there. There's not really many people out there offering this digital conversion process, yeah. but I think it's the biggest advancement in all on four since the all on four was first invented. So, was there anything else that you could add on about this, like um, patients no. experience anything? It like just that? seems more seamless. Patients are happier. Patients just have an overall better result, better right. time. <laughs> we're we're happy when you're happy. Yeah. Right. We don't want, you know. Ultimately, when you're in an all on four in the end, you're gonna love it. And we can honestly justify it, like, and say, like, hey, it's, it might break, and whatever it is, the part of the process, you know, like, the, you know, there may, might be some drawbacks or setbacks or whatever. But no, this digital conversion process has allowed for until you get in your final for it to be a very seamless process. And the other thing too is like, I just wanted to say, um, some people might say, like, well, I've seen people who offer people to go into a final prosthesis immediately. And don't ever do that. That's a nightmare. I'm gonna create another video where we talk about that. Um, I'll actually link it in uh, YouTube below, so you can sit there and see the link in regards to like I, because I think it's such an important topic. 100%. Uh, but hopefully you guys found this information helpful. Please give us a follow and a thumbs up. You know we did come in on a Sunday to uh, create this video for you. But thanks again.